Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albano Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. We're looking at a beer. Today's beer was sent by Blake. Thank you very much, Blake. It came from Newfoundland. And it is a Molson product. It is Black Horse. 5% alcohol by volume. Brewed only in Newfoundland and Labrador. So this is the beer I heard a lot about going into all this. He did send his little notes and everything, and that was that was great. It helped me know a little bit of history about it. Um, what was the other one he sent last time? He sent uh, last time he sent India beer, and I do believe the only other like big touristy beer out there is is like Iceberg, but I hear that's expensive and it's in blue bottles and it's it's made with Iceberg water and. So what I'm expecting out of this is just a beer. That's what I'm hoping for out of this. It's just a beer, right? A beer you can just drink and uh, share. A group beer, basically. Nice snap, crackle, pop. Beautiful golden color. Crystal clear. Looks like so many other uh, Molson Coors products. Scent, uh, let's do the glass first. Mm, smells just like most <laughs> Molson Coors products. Ooh! Out of the can, it, it's... Okay. Out of the glass, it's just your average, you know, slightly sweet, slightly musty. It, it smells like beer. Out of the can, it has a much more... It's like a mix of... Out of the can, it's like a mix of a Euro lager, be it Heineken or Bex or anything like that. Just that slightly more pungent sweet scent. As well as a mixture of moosehead coming from the can. So a slightly skunky yet slightly grainy scent. It's it's intriguing. Cheers. Very light bodied. Very easy drinking. Keep in mind that I normally drink my beers room temperature. It's not a temperature that a lot of macro beers do really well at. Uh, a lot of macro beers need to be at least slightly cool to make them taste a little better. This doesn't taste bad. A little bit of bready biscuitiness. A little bit of earthiness. A tiny bit of tinniness. And a tiny, tiny underlay of like a butterscotch flavor. All in all, this is a solid little beer. I mean... Get this cold, buy it at a bar, I could drink this all day long. You know, get a 12-pack or a 2-4 for a proper price, I could buy this all day long. It's better than, to me, this is better than a Bud or something like that. It has, it gives off just that little bit of, a rem, like, just lingering earthiness as well. I mean, right now I still have a slight earthy, tiny bit of tinny taste in my mouth, which makes the beer more, it makes the beer refreshing at the same time. I actually don't mind this. Black Horse. A beer I never thought I'd get to drink. A big beer in the Maritimes. And I got to drink it. And I like it. Um, out of 10 on that? That's, that's easily a 7. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I would buy that again. Going out to a bar, having a night out with my buddies, that's not a bad beer. Yes, I know my daughter put a lot more on this side than she did on this side. It was like she got bored on this side. She begged and begged and begged, can I braid your beard? Can I braid your beard? I'll make it look pretty. It looks good if you're looking at me from this side. Well, it doesn't really. My wife says I look ridiculous. That's okay. I always look ridiculous. Thank you again, Blake. Bye, guys.